Dear students, now we are going to discuss intermodulation noise in satellite communication. So this intermodulation occurs when multiple carriers pass through the non-linear high power amplifiers. In satellite communication, we are using the high power amplifiers like traveling wave tube amplifiers. So this amplifiers are non-linear one. So whenever the multiple carriers are passing through this non-linear amplifiers, then the amplitude and phase non-linearities produce the intermodulation products. So at different frequency ranges. So that is called as intermodulation noise. So this intermodulation products can interfere with the desired signal to generate the intermodulation noise. So here we can see the third order intermodulation products causes interference in this frequency range. So F1, F2 or the desired signals. So here 2 F1 minus F2, 2 F2 minus F1, these two or the intermodulation noise due to the intermodulation products. Do you all understand this concept? So it can be evaluated by using the term carrier to intermodulation noise ratio. This intermodulation noise is an unwanted one. So we need to reduce this intermodulation noise in satellite communication. So in order to reduce this intermodulation noise, the TWTA must be operated in the back of condition at the input side as well as output side. So here we are concentrating on this input side. So here this input back of value is increased means it will increase the carrier to noise ratio as well. But at the same time, this back of condition decreases both downlink and uplink ratio. So here this back of concept is very very important in the satellite communication to maintain the proper intermodulation noise as well as to keep the proper range of downlink and uplink ratios. So definitely there is an optimal point where all the carrier to noise density ratio is maximum. That point is known as optimum operating point of the high power amplifier okay this is the diagrammatic representation of carrier to noise density ratio as a function of pack off so here it is in minus sign so here we can say so whenever the input pack off is increased the intermodulation carrier to noise density is also getting increased at the same time here the uplink and downlink ratios are getting decreased so here this is the overall response of this three links okay. So at that point we can get optimal point where all the carrier to noise density ratio are maximum. So we can get the optimum operating point which is having the maximum value of this downlink as well as for this uplink as well as for this intermodulation one. So this is very important one to analyze the carrier to noise density for intermodulation as a function of input pack of okay